Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and thank you for tuning in to these energies and influences coming through for your weekly reading, February 17th to the 23rd. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into the future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. That is a citrine next to your Aries emblem there. And that's your stone, Aries. It's a stone of imagination and personal will and manifestation. It helps develop psychic abilities. And it helps you to act on your instincts. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background. It's the basis of the matter. This is the foundation. It's something that's already flowing into the past. The Four of Swords, Aries. Air energy. This has to do with rest and healing and reflection. And it's a time of peace and respite. This is recuperation. It's gathering up your strength. And you'll be planning your next moves. You might want to keep some of those plans to yourself. This is a soon, a, a, it's going to be a change for the better. It's relaxation of anxiety. Could be even a vacation. Maybe that's what you're planning for. You might need to seek an expert for advice. This is incubating ideas, taking time for a break, and retreating to a quiet place to recuperate, maybe from an illness, or work through a problem. You might need to get some fresh ideas, but you should be taking it easy. Hang out that do not disturb sign. Now your second card. And this is the energies, crossing over your path. Number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a destiny card. There's karmic influences are moving in. This is fate and chance and opportunity. This is a success and a very unexpected turn of luck. This is a change of fortune for the better, and now there's going to be new conditions. This is destiny and fortune and elevation and, and luck. It's fate. It's karmic. Things never stay the same, and events are going to turn around in some fashion. In this situation, it's going to change of its own accord. There's nothing you can do about it now beyond your control. This is movement and there's surprises. There could be a gift that goes beyond reason and logic. You're going to become unstuck. So stay calm even when it seems like nothing else is happening. Your third card and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. The Nine of Wands, Aries, fire energy, you're being guarded. This is feeling tired, but you have perseverance and strength and determination, and there's going to be attainment. This is completion and reflection, and this is strength to overcome trouble. You might be confronting difficulties. But it's the end of a cycle, and it's victory through courage and endurance. This is also a pause in the struggle. It's preparedness and strength and reserve. There is eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. Now your fourth card. It's the future card. The results. The outcome. 
and the advice. The King of Cups, Aries. This is a water energy person. Doesn't have to be a male, can be a female. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone that contains their emotions. They're caring and sensitive. They're composed and wise and calm. They're a healer and a counselor. This person, they're utterly trustworthy. They're relaxed and non-threatening. They're reliable. And they have a positive outlook. This could also indicate interest in the arts. They're a creative type. This is a situation that's favorable, especially if it's artistic. And this is someone who comes through when you need them. The fish is a symbol of creative imagination. This person is a master of emotions and they can change their moods at will. In love, you may need to stop worrying things like a terrier. Use good judgment and fair practices and go that extra mile. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's synchronistic that this came in this position. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Weight deck, the High Priestess. This is hidden influences and secret knowledge. And this is in the position of what's unseen. This has to do with female energy and emotion. Could be someone around that's psychic. But this is the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power about to manifest after a period of gestation. This is divine truth and wisdom. This is nurturing the spark of creation. This is an unrevealed future. It's hidden influences at work here. It's, it's destiny. It's coming. This has special value for artists and poets and composers and mystics. This is a time it's when it's better to sit still. So seek peace within yourself. A spiritual revelation is about to happen. You may actually see the solution to a problem. And now your bonus card, and that is the Sacred Traveler card. It's an oracle card by Denise Lynn. And it's called the Wandering Path. And this says to enjoy the journey. You don't always need to know where you're going. Accept the fact that sometimes the path in life is meandering. Yet know that you're always exactly where you need to be, even if it doesn't seem like it. Be present with your journey. Embrace everything that you encounter on the path. It's all for your highest good. Accept what is. This is the key to inner power. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that when you're traveling, you're in the present moment. A mystic traveler has no specific goals for the future and is not focused on the destination. Everything is fresh and new. At times, it's difficult to accept everything that occurs on the road of life, especially if the road seems to twist and turn in unexpected ways. It's an act of courage and faith to accept what is, without judgment or dismay, and to keep going. Trust that there is a plan for your life, and it's unfolding perfectly. Have faith that you're on the road that you're meant to travel on, accepting what is doesn't mean that you can't work to change it, because you can. However, this card does suggest that every experience is supporting you for your highest good and your spiritual evolution. There is something that you can't accept. Then start by gently accepting the fact that you can't accept it. Allow for your own wandering path. It is the key to grace and peace in your life. 
Thanks, you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, please. Here's your take note moment. When we ask for happiness and a beautiful life, we should ask not just for ourselves, but ask for everyone. When you ask for something better, ask not just for you, but for everyone. But of course, ask for abundance and health, but also ask for it to be given to everyone. Can you imagine billions of people asking for these things for you? Thanks, you guys. Now remember, what goes around comes around. I'm sending you out love and light. Thanks for watching.